Hey guys, so this is a video response to Firearm Patriot. Firearm Patriot has posted a holiday giveaway video on his YouTube page, and in that he's asked us as viewers what we think about the US M9 service pistol and the fact that the US Army has opened up new trials to replace the M9 service pistol. He would like to know what we think the M9 should be replaced with. Now sitting here in front of me is an M9A1. The M9A1 was just recently adopted by the United States Marine Corps. Now the US Army has opened up new trials, which I've talked about previously, especially on my blog, and they're considering a number of different pistols, and they're also considering other calibers. Now, the M9, I believe, has been a fairly decent service pistol. I wouldn't have picked it to replace the 1911, but I don't think that it's been a horrible service pistol. But I am glad that the U.S. Army is considering a new pistol. Now, the pistol that I think that the U.S. Army should adopt is the Smith & Wesson m and Now, the m and I select simply because, well, first of all, I know that the M&P is a reliable pistol. I've been shooting the M&P for some time now. I know that the thing is very, very reliable, and it's also accurate and easy to shoot. Every person I've handed the M&P to thinks it's exceptionally ergonomic. It's probably one of the most ergonomic 9mm pistols on the market. Now, I know that the U.S. military is also considering a caliber change. They're not necessarily going to adopt another 9mm. They might adopt another caliber, 45 again, perhaps, 40 Smith & Wesson, or something else. And, of course, the M&P is available in all those calibers. Now, one of the other specifications that the U.S. Army has, has set is that they want a manual safety. The M&P is available with a manual thumb safety on the left-hand side of the receiver. Now, this particular model that I have here in my hands doesn't have that safety because I don't want that safety on my hand. I prefer a striker-fired pistol not to have that particular safety, but I understand why the U.S. Army wants it. Now, the reason why I'm rooting for the M&P is because it's an American designed pistol and it's manufactured here in the United States. Now, why is that important to me? Well, the United States is obviously the world's only remaining superpower. You would think that the United States could manufacture its own weapons for its military. There's a trend recently for the U.S. military to go outside of the U.S. to contract for small arms for our military. FNH has been manufacturing M16s, M240s, M249s, even the M2 heavy machine gun. They've been manufacturing all those weapons for our military for some time now. Colt still holds on to the M4, which you see here. They still manufacture the M4 for the Army, and they do so as the sole provider for this particular weapon system. But that could possibly change, and the U.S. Army is also considering swapping out this weapon for something else, and that's a whole different topic. So anyway, I would really like to see the United States manufacture its own small arms. I know it might sound crazy, but that's why I'm rooting for the M&P. So that's my choice. I hope that the Smith & Wesson M&P wins the military contract to replace the M9 service pistol. Also, I'd like to give a shout out to Fate of Destiny. Fate of Destiny is a firearms channel, and it's um, run by a female, and I like to see females involved in the shooting sports. Our hobby tends to be male-dominated. Fate of Destiny puts out some outstanding videos. I always watch her new releases, and she also knows what she's talking about. So I encourage everybody to swing by and check out Fate of Destiny's channel. I'll put a link in the description below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Talk to you guys soon.